boy Braun Bomber fighting uh, Ortiz. Yes. Them two sluggers right there. Ortiz is a is a, a big boy. He a big boy, so I think he gonna be time enough for for Bomber. But Bomber, he that's my boy. I like you know what I'm saying. I, I like yeah. I like his image and the way he come off and. He said, I'll break you, but you know what I'm saying? I like all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Separates me from all the heavyweights. Tell me about you. How I knock a motherfucker out. You, you know what separates me? Not only you? have I broke, you know what not only have I broke sockets, not Did only have I broke bones, but I done made them, I done made them seize on the ground. Yeah. You've shown the work rate. He's oh hitting. My. And Severn goes down. Hey, bring a little, bring a yeah. little swag to it. Who, who, you, who you got in that one? I, I will pick, once again, and everybody says, I'm going to pick the USA guy versus anybody else. Right. So, going with the Bronze Bomber. Mm -hmm. And he said, once again, he said he speaks the truth. Whatever he says is going to happen, happens. <laughs> so, there's no reason to doubt him now. It's not. This is my thing about boxers. I love boxers who talk trash. Right. But I, I question, see... I, I found the new love in boxing. I question some people when they talk trash, either through social media, either on their own personal accounts, mm -hmm. or when they get in front of a camera. Right. Because, with no disrespect, I don't want people to be like Adrian Braun, who come fight time, they talk to all the trash in the world, but then don't show up to fight. And then say my bad, right? Rigandile, I, I I questioned it. I was like, "Yo, Rigandile is a dog," but I was like, "I hope he does not pull a Adrian Broner." Yeah. And talk all this Lomachenko high tech. I'm about to. I'm about. I have the. I have the skills or whatever to stop all that. To 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 end the matrix. And right. everything, like he had the funniest post ever. You kind of gotta talk the fight. Up. I mean, you promote the fight, but don't promote the fight because now everybody's like, "Well, where's Ring Down now?" Like the man fought, he got paid, cool, whatever. He's enjoying life. Mm -hmm. But as a boxing fan, it just hurts to see these people. Great, you don't know what's gonna happen in the fight. He said he hurt his hand and everything, but. It hurts. He was getting whooped. It hurts to see. It hurts Love to see boxers boy. talk trash, talk big trash. How they're gonna stop people? How how this person's never seen anybody like me? How they never fought anybody? But then don't go out there and fight. Right. Uh, it's it's not even it's not even that you lost, but don't go out there and put up a fight. Right. Make it. Hey. Hey. Make it seem. It's not even put on the show, but it's like you're just letting the dude beat you. It looks like to the fans, you're just letting this guy beat you up. And it's like, okay, why didn't you throw any punches? Right, 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 right. So I when it comes to the bronze bomber, that doesn't happen. Right. Yeah. Like, that's why I like him. He go out there, he say what he gonna do, he talk it. And first thing he do when he get in there, he probably like wilder. Gets, he'll size you up a little bit. But he gonna get his respect. Yeah. Like he's on the whole new there. He gonna get his ring respect. He gonna get in there. You gonna feel that power. And once you feel that and know that anything, you have to be tight with whatever you got going on. If not, <laughs> if not, <laughs> then it's a problem. Like you, you have to feel wrong with my power. And I feel like what both of them do is Ortiz. Ortiz is a big boy, so Ortiz can take some of that power. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. Now they say now Wilder was saying he's used to that Cuban style. He's been fighting the Cuban style. For a long time, like he's used to that. It's nothing that Ortiz is going to do that he's going to be surprised and shocked. And so, I understand the Cuban style boxing and everything. They're saying all that jumping around Wilder does that ain't going to work against Ortiz. Ortiz right. is too technical. He's seen the people use angles and all that. But I uh, equalizer just like Wilder always says that they don't have my punching power. My punching power makes up for a lot of stuff. This fight is going to be a brawl. Because I've never honestly seen Wilder really test it. You know what I'm saying? Put yeah. it hard I mean, way to like see how he going. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like first, after getting first, stunned or whatever, I mean, come the, back yeah. in. But my thing is this. Who's had that type of punching power to do that? That's what I'm saying. Ortiz is a big boy enough. Yeah. 
Damn. Like it's gonna be a brawl. Like these guys is gonna be. I'm but saying. But who's gonna? Who says Wilder is gonna stay? Is gonna stay still in front of him long enough for a team? Wilder's not like a Manchego though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like he but, might do all of that just to. That's yeah. kind of. I feel like when he do that, it's showboating. He not yeah. like Manchego when he do it. It's technical. But, like, technical trying to get the angle in. Oh, uh, I don't even want to go to Wilder do it for like. I don't even want to go to the. That's how he I do all it. that when he's feeling himself. You we'll know what I'm saying? When he got his swag up. When he, when he got his collar. I don't even want to go to the how. We'll talk later on how I feel Loma Chaco is hyped. But, <laughs> but as far as Wilder goes, I don't think he's just going to sit there in front. And that might frustrate Ortiz that he's not sitting still in front of him. Just like any other fighter, they call it running. But any fighter who doesn't sit there in front of you and fight, they be like, that frustrates them. Because why? They got to move their feet and punch, and they can't do that. Right. So, and they got to learn how to cut. Like a lot of fighters, some fighters, they can't move their feet and punch, and they can't cut off the ring. So the movement frustrates them. So the thing is, can Ortiz cut off the ring when it comes to Wilder? I mean, well, it's going to be definitely a good fight. I feel like it's going to turn into a brawl. Type of thing, cause they both got good punch power. They both like knockout dudes. Like yeah, they both knockout dudes. Wilder, I still feel like it has not been tested. Honestly, like if you check all the other guys he be fighting, like they decent dudes, but they not yeah enough to really test it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like get that chin. They ain't really getting that chin. I ain't never really seen the wobble days. I ain't never seen him have to get out of a jam and fight. Yeah, but that could, be, that could just be because he's just that good. It's different. Nah, it's different when you good. You know what I'm saying? You just, you get, once you get your ring respect, okay. you, you good. Okay. So, but for example. If you do get in there and get his respect right back, for example, now you uh, feel like, okay, when, I can't when, just be unloading on When him. When Mosley caught uh, Mayweather with that right. Right. Like, Wilder, you, you haven't seen that from Wilder. Like, he get caught square and have to bounce back. Right. And if that ring, if that round would have went a little bit longer, yeah. you would have seen a different story. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, Mayweather was able to get saved by the bell. But if you would have seen, you know what I'm saying? Because it's different. Like, like Ken, when Wilder, when Ken you, Wilder in those crunch situations stand up. Right. That's the thing I'm trying to see. Like, if you get days in that fight and you, like, trying to get your... Yeah, Baron. And, and dude just keep on just throwing them. Just but that's what Wilder, you know what that's what Wilder like, is used to doing. Right. That's what I'm saying. So, He's never been tested before. It's a difference when Wilder goes in and he gets his ring respect off Bucks. So when he does that, boom. Now he got the other guys like kind of like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, at his discretion. Because once you feel that power, it's like, all right, so I don't want to get hit again. So, so I got to kind of be the smarter. Next, the next question would be, can... What happens when Wilder lands those hard hitting shots and Ortiz shrugs them off? What happens? Right. To, what happens to his psyche where he's like, I just hit this dude square. Right. And he's gonna have to box. <laughs> he's gonna have to box. He's gonna have to start putting some stuff together. So now and does, it become, up. So does it become a more tech you think it comes more technical fight? Those dudes is heavyweight. They not, <laughs> they not, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be like a whole holy field. Like, it's going to be the trilogy. It's mm -hmm. going to be George, it's going to be like one of them fights. They not, okay. Manchego and Mayweather, they not doing all that. Them dudes are going to end up in there brawling. They probably go to like round 10. Somebody is going to, they okay. just going to be throwing so that, that was the next thing. thing. What do you, do you, I mean, both of them say it's going to be a knockout. Both of them say, ain't, this ain't going the distance. This is going to be a knockout. I might see either round 10 or, like, probably it might go to, I don't know. I want to say round 10. And if, if if it's a knockout, round 9 or 10, where dudes are both tired, you know what I'm saying? When they, yeah. Because that power and that fighting hard yeah. like that, that's when, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. when you really see what you made of. When you get up there in them big rounds and you tired. Yeah. And dude, just take that, get that one good shot. It might go to 10. If not, it's probably going to go to 12. And you're going to see busted faces, swollen eyes. You're going to see mm -hmm. everything. You're going to see the works with them dudes, man. Okay. Well, yeah. That's what's up. But uh, that's probably going to wrap it up for today, man. We we got some good, good chit-chat in here today. Yes. We definitely hope y'all continue to tune in. We all have good chit chat like this mm -hmm. all the time, it's my boy. Yes. Sid. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, one of the things is leave your leave your uh, comments in the uh, in the.
comment section below. Any questions you have, any topics that you want us to discuss, don't be afraid to comment. We definitely will do that, and you're going to get real talk, unscripted talk, just straight, good sports, good commentary, all of that. So, this is your boy Mike with the topic here with my boy Sid. Yeah. What's your IG? Oh, you can follow me at Sid Vicious underscore. Yeah, check him out. And he baked too. Yeah, I catch up to that one later. <laughs> Hi, y'all.